Hey guys, welcome back to HP Midweek. You get to know the HP Kids team today. I hope you guys are ready, and I hope you guys are ready because I got question number one. Okay. Ready? Bring it. Okay. So, Tyler and Sarah. Sarah, we'll start with you. When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? A teacher or a princess. Really young, <laughs> I wanted to be a princess. I can see that. But I actually wanted to be a teacher up until I was a little bit older. Okay. Perfect. Right. Mine was a hooper, All but right. it didn't go far. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, about you. Oh, goodness. Okay, so about that. When I was little, my mom and dad, I got all my hair chopped off, very boy short. I was a big tomboy. And so watching um, music videos in the late 80s, I thought that those girls were so cool with their fancy hair. So that time, I wanted to be one of those dance girls with the long, the music big videos. 80s hair. Yeah, <laughs> that dates me, probably. Perfect. All right, so question two is this. Sarah, Sarah Rogers, you're first. Okay. What is your signature dance move? Oh, Lori. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm obviously in preschool and we have um, the carpet with the square. So at that point, we're focusing on proximity control here, <laughs> making sure that no one's hurting their friends. So we do a whole lot of twirling and praising <laughs> and modeling for the three year olds. Okay. We'll go with that. Oh, yeah, especially in those dresses. <laughs> That's right. Lots of twirling, <laughs> Pastor Sarah. I think for me, it would probably be because we do the Fortnite dance a lot, would be the floss, which I can't really do here. <laughs> but our kids can do it super fast, so I try to stay on pace with mm -hmm. them. Yeah, and mine is definitely a Fortnite move because we do it all the time and it's Orange Justice. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. And then my question is a little bit more serious. Question number three. Tyler, we can start with you. When did you decide to follow Jesus? Um, I ultimately decided to follow Jesus seriously my senior year in high school, I would say. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I got to go to church with grandparents. Um, my mom took me growing up. My dad did as well. But I'd say the definite memory I can remember was at an Arby's in seventh grade with Arby's. my um, basketball coach, Kim Knowles. She shared with us um, that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens, uh, strengthens me and um, just with our basketball team and a few of the girls, that's including cool. myself, accepted Jesus that day. Yeah, that's nice. amazing. Mine was actually at HP Youth in sixth grade. I was here, I grew up in church, in the Catholic church, but we came over here to Highland Park when I was in fifth grade. And so in sixth grade, I, I think I cognitively decided Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. Awesome. Very good. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys another one. Now it's a little more trivia. Okay. So you guys can work together on this. So oh boy, are you ready? How, oh no. <laughs> how many books are in the New Testament? 27. 27. Oh, no. oh. oh, turkey. <laughs> <laughs> that was All a right, fail. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll do the next question. This is for Tyler and Sarah. Who was the first person to come upon the injured man in the parable of the Good Samaritan? The first person. Sarah's all you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, um, weren't like the Pharisees. They passed them a couple times, right? They passed them on the road. Well, was the first person, but they did pass right? them. Yeah. And it, after a couple of the um, holy ones walked by, then it was the Good Samaritan that stopped and decided to heal and take care of him and put him on. Yeah, the holy ones. So it was actually yeah. the priest. It was the priest. Okay. It was the yeah. priest, yeah. which yeah. would be considered yeah. a holy okay. person. So. All right. So question for you two is this. Matthew was a blank. What was his profession? Oh, tax collector. Oh, Correct. good catch. Good All job. Right. All right, here we go. I just needed a second on that one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Who baptized Jesus? John. John the Baptist. John, John the, the Baptist. Baptist. Yep, 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 we yep, got yep. the easy questions. <laughs> yeah, I like them. <laughs> All right. My next question is, who is the first disciple to deny Jesus? Ooh. We just read about this. To, to deny Jesus? The gen deny Jesus. Like, Peter, I would deny you three times. Yes, it Christ. was Peter. Okay. Good job. Peter, I'm thinking that these are going to be like trick questions. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, we're we're pretty straightforward. Yeah. All right, here we go. Next question is, what did Jesus do at the Last Supper to his disciples? What was the action that he did? We washed their feet. Yeah, they washed, they their, washed feet. their feet. Man, we are. Honest. Sarah's on it. <laughs> we just read about this in our life journals. So that's helpful. Yes. Our little ones actually got to do the washing of the feet. Yes, that was so awesome. A few weeks ago. Okay, so which gospel was written by a doctor? Luke. Luke. Oh, very good, very <laughs> good. Okay. Oh, I'm the next question. Okay. How many books are in the Bible? 66. 66. Awesome. Good Ooh. job, guys. All right. Next one is, what is the longest book in the Bible? Psalm. Is Psalm the longest? It is. Nice. It is. It is. Very nice. I, I had to guess a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what day did God create man? Six on the sixth day. 
Yep. Yep. So you got it. There we go. Bucks. Good thing we went over that. <laughs> right. We went over that <laughs> like, again. Literally like a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. How many days and nights did it rain when Noah was on the ark? 40, yeah. Yes, 40. good. 40, 40 days. How many books are in the Old Testament? 39. 39, yep. Had to do my math there real mm -hmm. quick. <laughs> the, is this a hard question now? Or hard questions? I will see. Oh, I'm oh, on my hard question. Okay. okay, here we go. With what did Samson kill 1,000 Philistines? What do you think? Mmm. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Fire? Did he burn down? Like, a donkey's jawbone. That's oh, right. Oh my oh, god. I said oh. That. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Okay. I feel like I should have known yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, my okay. next question for the bonus round. How many people saw Jesus after he came back from the dead? More than or less than 500? Less than. I would say, I would right, say, I would say less guess. than. No. Wait, how many saw him after saw. he came back from the dead? Oh, I'm like thinking the individual's married, so. Oh, wait, I'm kidding, man. I mean, that's a tough one. Over, under? Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for that. Let's, the, let's just go with over, over. Okay. Good. It was. It was more Perfect. than 500. There we go. I did not guess on that one. Okay. <laughs> Last question is this. How many of Jesus' brothers are named in the Bible? Oh, my gosh. Three? Close. Four. 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 Oh, four. Four. Jesus. Our game was four. Okay, we were pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Three, yeah. three, four. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. one, one, Not two, too bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, folks, that's all we have for you. I hope you enjoyed getting to know your HP Kids team a little bit better. I know I enjoyed and more Bible trivia. And know what we don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll check it out next week. See you See later. You. Bye. Bye.